Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this um, seminar about studying in Australia and at the University of Queensland, or UQ. Uh, my name is Natalia Piedrahita, you can call me Nat, and I'm the Regional Marketing and Recruitment Manager for the Americas at UQ. I would like to thank Leslie and the team at uh, NSHSS for making this event possible. We have been partnering with NSHSS for the last couple of years, and despite COVID, we also managed to attend our very first Scholar Days in Atlanta in um, November last year, which is absolutely um, fantastic. I am very excited to be here today and talk about our wonderful um, institution and the many opportunities for US students and international students in Australia. So in the next uh, few minutes, I'll be giving you a short overview of UQ and why you might want to come and study with us. UQ is located in Brisbane, which is the capital city of the state of Queensland and the third largest city in Australia. As you can see from the map, we are located about halfway up the east coast of Australia, and it's um, easy to visit the other major cities by plane. Closer to home, there's a lot to explore from nearby beaches at the Gold Coast and the Sunshine Coast to rainforest and the outback. Brisbane itself is a great city with lots to do, friendly people, a relaxed and safe lifestyle and a pleasant um, subtropical climate. Just to give you a better idea on what you can experience in Brisbane, I would like to play a short video. Let's have a look. Take everything you need of Take everything you see though Take everything but me Sit your presence next to mine but You know I will not resign cause I just drop this heart
Okay, so um, that was just a little introduction about Brisbane, um, which is really a beautiful city and a great destination for international students. So in terms of our global reputation, UQ is one of the most prestigious universities in Australia and in the world. We are in the top 100 globally in all of the major rankings and in the top 50 in most of them, as you can see on the screen. We are 39 in the performance ranking of scientific papers, 36 in the US News Best Global University ranking, 47 in the QS World University rankings, 51 in the academic ranking of world universities, also known as Shanghai, and um, 54 in the Times Higher Education. Um, so we are a funding member of the Group of Eight, um, or the GO8, which is a coalition of world-leading research intensive Australian um, universities. UQ is um, also one of the most comprehensive universities in Australia, offering a wide range of programs in all disciplines. We are also a research intensive institution and we also perform really well in the international rankings per subject area. On the screen, you can see some of the top ranked disciplines at UQ, and particularly those in the top 30 globally. Some of these are very popular amongst US students. So again, there's a lot of options at UQ. As mentioned earlier, UQ is a research intensive university with researchers answering some of the world's toughest questions. For example, one of the UQ research highlights include the Gardasil, which is the world's first um, cervical cancer vaccine and was created by UQ Faculty of Medicine, Professor Ian Fraser. So again, there's so many opportunities as well in terms of research if you come to UQ. On the screen, um, this is one of my favorite um, research centers at the University of Queensland. This is actually um, on the Great Barrier Reef on Heron Island and is a research station for conservation and marine biology. And in fact, many US students who have come on exchange or study abroad have done some uh, field work in this station. However, UQ is just not about research. Um, there is also a strong focus on teaching excellence, with UQ having won more Australian awards for university teaching than any other Australian um, university. So you'll be taught by people who are not only doing cutting edge research, but also inspiring teachers who are leaders um, in the industry. UQ places great importance on the student experience and has been ranked number one out of the group of eight universities for student experience. You can take advantage of the many extracurricular activities on offer, including hundreds of clubs and societies, sporting, fitness and recreation opportunities, um, and campus activities and events organized by the UQ Life team. So there are plenty of opportunities um, to make new friends. And this actually takes me to my next slide, um, as UQ is uh, also a truly diverse um, community. We have over 50,000 students, of which 18,000 are international students from about 145 different countries, including about 300 study abroad and exchange students from the US every year, and over 200 full degree students from the US doing a broad range of different programs at the undergrad and postgrad levels, particularly medicine, which is a very, very popular program for US students at UQ. We also welcome quite a few PhD students uh, from North America every year. UQ has three campuses. Um, our main campus is the San Lucia campus, and this is um, the one where you will most likely be. Um, it's known as one of the world's most beautiful campuses and is located just seven kilometers from Brisbane city center. The campus is bounded by the Brisbane River on the three sides and includes sandstone buildings, parklands, and lakes alongside world-class teaching and research facilities. It is an ideal study, research, and living environment. Here you can see the San Lucia campus with the city center in the background. And as you can see, it is a beautiful place and there's plenty of green space on campus, but the city center is still within easy reach. With plenty of transportation options, um, you can get to and from campus by bus, bicycle, car, 
ferry, which is my favorite and is a very pleasant trip, or by foot if you live close enough. So there's actually quite a few accommodation options on campus um, and in the neighborhood, which we will be looking at in more detail later on. Our second campus is Hurston Campus. And this is UQ's core campus for clinical health teaching and research. Many US students enrolled in our medicine program are actually based here. And we have over 100, as I said, uh, US students every year joining our MD program. A study abroad and exchange students could also take a course here if you are taking any courses related to public health, for instance. So the campus is easily accessed by bus from St. Lucia and from the city center. The Gatton campus is our rural campus located near the town of Gatton, 87 kilometers west of downtown Brisbane. The Gatton campus focuses on animal studies and agriculture. It is a relaxed, friendly atmosphere with open space to experience nature and a farming lifestyle and includes modern teaching facilities and laboratories alongside um, historic buildings. This campus is specialized in programs like veterinary sciences, animal sciences, equine sciences, agricultural sciences, and agribusiness. It does have the most amazing facilities for students and researchers in those particular fields. There is a free university operated express bus between the San Lucia and Gatton campuses that runs four times each week during the semester. So it's easy to get to and from all three campuses. The San Lucia campus is served by the city cat or the ferry, which is a boat that goes along the river and will take you into the city and beyond, as well as buses, and there are now personal mobility options as well, such as the e-bikes and the scooters that you can rent to take you where you need to be. Um, so in terms of study options, um, we offer a broad range of programs. As I said earlier, we are a truly comprehensive university. Um, so we offer about um, 300 programs, more than 300 programs in all disciplines. So at the undergrad levels, at undergrad level um, in agriculture and, and environmental sciences, as you can see on the screens, there's plenty of options. Same as the podcross level, uh, agribusiness, agricultural sciences, animal sciences, conservation, and environmental management. We are actually number one in environmental management in Australia and number twelve in the world. Architecture, planning, and design. We teach those programs at the undergrad level and the postgrad level, a beautiful master's of architecture and also a master's of urban and regional uh, planning is available. We have also a large arts, humanities and social sciences and faculty, um, which offers programs um, across all these areas at the undergrad and postgrad levels. Same with our uh, business, economics, and law faculty. Lots of programs to choose from, from the, uh, at the undergrad and the postgrad levels. Um, and we have a lot of uh, North American students in this faculty as well. We also teach education. Um, if you want to become a teacher, primary or secondary, that's an option, as well as uh, postgrad um, options. Um, in this faculty with a master's of educational studies and also a master's of teaching. The engineering and computing faculty also offers a broad branch of programs. Um, all the engineering disciplines are available as well as computer science and information technology at the undergrad level. And then at the postgrad level, again, all the engineering disciplines, but also programs like data science or cybersecurity, which are very uh, popular um, amongst students these days. Um, there is also a science uh, faculty offering different programs across sciences and mathematics, as you can see on the screen at the undergrad level and also at the postgrad level. Same with our Faculty of Health, Behavioral Sciences and Medicine. There's lots of options. 
um, you know, um, going from biomedical sciences, you know, dentistry, rehab sciences, pre-med, social work, psychology at the undergrad level. And then at the postgrad level, we have um, different options as well. And all these programs um, in the health sciences, which are very popular amongst North American students, will qualify you for accreditation back in North America if, if this is what you're looking for. Um, so again, we have uh, lots of North American students and US students into our MD program, dentistry programs, and all the rehab sciences like physiotherapy, speech pathology, etc. So those are especially popular within um, North American students. So in terms of um, customizing your study, there's plenty of options at UQ. So you can take a single major, dual major, or extended major in your undergrad, and all those majors will be um, listed on your degree certificate. You can also take a dual program, which allows you to undertake two bachelor degrees at once, but in a shorter period of time. This option gives you a competitive advantage in the workplace because of the additional knowledge and skills you will have acquired. So again, plenty of options um, to choose from. You will be able to search our programs on our website, and I will be happy to share this link in the chat for you guys. Um, so before you start searching for programs, ensure you click on I am an international student in the top right hand corner to get the international student um, entry requirements. So to search for programs on our website, you can search the program um, code. Um, However, it is highly unlikely that you actually know the code. So you can also select from the study drop-down menu or type the study area and all the options will be, will be listed. So it is a very user-friendly website with lots of information. But let's um, take a look at the entry requirements um, for uh, US students. So entry requirements are pretty much straightforward and you can find the details on the website. However, there are three main things that you need to take into account when applying to UQ. First of all, we focus on the academics. So we normally don't ask for reference letters and we don't do interviews except for a few programs like medicine or psychology. So again, the focus is on the academics. We accept a number of high school programs across the globe, but for the purpose of this session, I will focus on the US high school diploma and the IB diploma. So a completed US high school diploma in combination with an aptitude test, such as the Scholastic Aptitude Test, SAT, or the Enhanced ACT test, can be assessed for admissions into UQ undergraduate programs. Advanced placements or the AP examinations that are issued by the College Board can also be assessed for admissions into UQ undergraduate programs. If you have completed um, the IB diploma or the International uh, Baccalaureate, um, you can also gain direct entry into UQ. So again, um, there are other high school systems that we might accept um, if you studied in a different country, for instance, um, and all this information is on our website. The second thing you need to consider is the subject prerequisites, which will vary depending on the program you are looking at. On our website, you will find tables with the subject equivalents in the different systems we accept. Um, just to give you an example on the screen, we have um, the equivalents uh, uh, for um, the APs. So on the right hand side, you will see the Queensland year 12 uh, subject prerequisites. And then on the left hand side, you will find the AP test equivalent. So all this information again is on the website. And if you want to apply to UQ, we will guide you through the process and help you find the information. A third thing to take into account is the closing dates. Um, so just keep in mind that we are in the Southern Hemisphere and we do have a different academic um, calendar. So semester one, one, which will be equivalent to your spring semester, it starts at the end of February and finishes in June. So if you wish to be considered for semester one, you will need to apply before November the 30th of the year before. 
Semester two, which is equivalent to your fall semester, it starts at the end of July and finishes in November. To apply for SEM2, you will need to apply before May 30th of the same year. So please note that quarter programs, meaning programs with limited places like dentistry, medicine, or veterinary sciences, for instance, might have different deadlines, which you can check on our website. So for postgraduate students or graduate programs, um, again, we look at the academics. And the main thing to take into account here is that we use a different grading system in Australia. So we grade from one to seven. We will make the calculations according to your academic transcripts and the grading scale used by your university. So again, um, all this information is on the website. Um, and in fact, the US is listed on our website and you can see um, the GPA equivalence um, uh, to the US. Um, if you're, you know, completed your degree in a different country, you might also be able to find that information on the website. And again, um, we don't do interviews except for a few programs like medicine. English language proficiency requirements um, are also uh, needed if you are not from an English speaking country or if you have undertaken your studies in a different language. So just keep that in mind. Closing dates, of course, are also very important to check when applying um, for graduate programs. So, okay, if doing a whole degree in Australia it still sounds a little bit overwhelming for you guys, you can also opt to come to UQ on exchange or study abroad. So there's a large number of universities across the US and across the globe that we have agreements with. Um, so make sure you check those on our website. Um, and if exchange is not available at your school, you can also come to UQ as a study abroad student for one or two semesters. We've selected courses in a range of fields and also pair them with extracurricular activities to help you make the most of your UQ experience. You can choose all your courses um, from our focus areas or mix and match with a UQ course. So um, don't worry that we will guide you through this process, but the study abroad or exchange option is actually very popular um, amongst our North American um, students. Before we move on, I thought you might like to hear from some of our students about why they chose choose to come to um, UQ for study abroad. So listen what they have to say. Hi, I'm Daniel Griff, and I chose University of Queensland and Australia because not only is it on the other side of the planet from where I'm from, but uh, it's 30 degrees warmer at this time of the year, and it's so centralized, and there's all these places you can go north and south and to the coast, and Brisbane's such a beautiful city, and there's so much to do around. My name is Tania, I'm from Norway. Hi, my name is Belen, and I'm from Spain. Uh, I, choose, I chose UQ because of all the offers that the university have, both academic and social. They have all the clubs you can imagine, and a beautiful campus, and the professor is really nice and good here. And I really wanted to come to Australia because it has always been my dream to discover such a nice country and because it's very different from mine and I wanted to travel a lot and to meet uh, nice people as Australian ones. <laughs> Hi, my name is Emily and I'm from the United States. I study at Sonoma State University and I chose Australia for my study abroad program because of its amazing schools and its amazing nature and the beaches and there's just so much to do and see. Hi, my name is Dan. I'm from France and I chose Australia to see the kangaroos and to try surf. In fact, I'm from a tiny French island in the Caribbean, so here it's really different, much bigger and you have kangaroos. Hey, my name is Grant. I'm from the States. I go to the University of Georgia. I picked UQ because it's, you know, it's the farthest point away that I could find, but it's also beautiful weather, and it's the top 50 universities in the world, so I thought that was pretty cool. So, glad to be here. Hi. Okay. So, those, you know, students really had a great experience at UQ, and hopefully you guys also 
um, you know, start considering going to um, Australia and, you know, we will be very happy to help you through that process. As you can see um, on the screen, um, you know, we have a very much cultural community and in terms of our study abroad program, um, the U.S. is actually in our top 10 uh, nationality list. Um, so it's very diverse, Norway, China, Denmark, Malaysia, Indonesia, Taiwan, Japan, Germany, and Mexico. Um, so again, a great opportunity to make friends from around the globe. There's also a lot that you can do at UQ outside of your classes to enhance your experience and your future employability. Um, we have this student enrichment and, and employability development department. Um, and these guys um, provide guidance and support to you throughout your UQ journey. They offer a range of different programs, seminars, workshops, networking opportunities, career first, et cetera, to help you build those connections with industry and to enhance your employability skills before you graduate. The Employability Award Program encourages students to participate in extracurricular activities and further develop uh, their skills. This program recognizes the personal and professional development you will gain from involvement in activities that go above and beyond your academic studies. So this program is highly recommended. It doesn't cost you anything extra and it's just a great way on, of, um, you know, enhancing your um, soft skills and employability skills. Each faculty offers work integrated learning opportunities at UQ, internships, placements, and networking will be part of your study experience so you can grow your employment network before you graduate. If you're doing your full degree with us or coming on exchange or study abroad for two semesters, you could also take part of the summer and winter research program between semesters. This is a competitive program, so you need to apply. But if you are chosen, then you are also eligible for funding to support your participation in this program. If you're here for only one semester, there is still opportunities to get involved in research, either by taking a course that involves a research project or by volunteering with a UQ researcher. Another great way to get involved while you're here at UQ is by volunteering. There are plenty of opportunities to do this both on and off campus. It's a great way to meet people, gain some experience and give back to the community. We also offer a number of short-term experiences abroad that you will be able to engage with during your winter and summer semesters, as well as the opportunity to complete one or two semesters abroad while you are doing your UQ degree. We partner with 180 institutions in 38 different countries. So if you are crossing the Pacific, you know, to come all the way to Australia, um, why not taking the advantage of this program and doing a semester in China or Southeast Asia, for instance? There are just so many opportunities available for you guys um, outside the classroom at UQ. In terms of um, entrepreneurship and innovation, there is a whole range of programs on offer that we open to all UQ students and the grad, post-grad international students, everyone is welcome. So whatever your ambition to be a leader, start a business, increase your employability, or contribute to a social enterprise, UQ suites um, of entrepreneurship programs um, support you to prepare for the future of work and to reach your full potential. There are programs at all levels, so there is something for everyone. Um, whether you just want to learn more about entrepreneurial thinking, for instance, or already have an idea that you want to develop. So again, this is highly recommended as well. UQ is a large institution, but there's plenty of assistance here um, for you if you need it. Once you are studying with us, you can take advantage of support from a number of areas within student services, including international student advisors who can help with the challenges of studying in a foreign country or anything you may need. Personal counselors who can help with any personal issues or difficulties you might have, 
are also available for our international students at UQ. We also have diversity, disability, and inclusion advisors who can assist with getting the support you need if you have any kind of disability. And learning advisors who can help you where having, if you're having trouble understanding what's expected from you, um, so you will be able um, to get support um, all along your journey. So you might be wondering how you could possibly finance um, your studies at UQ or in Australia. So there are some options available. We do have a number of merit-based scholarships and uh, we will place that link on the, and on the chat box as well for you to have a look. Um, so just make sure to check um, our scholarships website for information. Um, UQ is also accredited by the United States Department of Education to administer US federal government loans to eligible US students and parents through the William D. Poor Direct Loan Program. Likewise, if you are eligible for the post 9-11 J-1 bill, you can also apply to use your benefits to help pay for your UQ um, studies. Veteran Affairs funding is sent directly to the University of Queensland. So we have advisors at our admissions team um, that you can uh, talk to and they will be able to walk you through the process of applying for federal funding if you need that. But again, our scholarships are also a good way to support your studies. Um, just keep in mind that those are 100% um, um, academic merit scholarships, but there's plenty of options there for international students. There are a few different options for accommodation as well at the University of Queensland. So we have residential colleges right on campus. Most of this provide full catering for students, so you will be able to eat your meals in a dining hall with other students. And this residential colleges also provide social engagement and support for the communities of students who live there. The new UQ residence um, or UQ Res for short, will be a brand new flagship on-campus student residence and will be available from this semester. UQ Res is the best of both worlds. So you can live on campus and walk to class, but um, all the energy of South Bank and the city is just an easy ferry or bus ride away. We also work with preferred providers. These are off-campus um, student accommodation providers with um, whom UQ has agreements. Um, these generally offer full furnished rooms, usually self-catered, so you will have a kitchen to prepare your own food and also include social engagement programs to help you get to know the other students. UQ offers um, guaranteed accommodation to new international students, um, which could be either with one of our uh, preferred providers or in one of our on-campus residential colleges, including the new UQ REST. Um, so you can find information and apply for this on the UQ website once you have your offer um, or um, you know, letter of acceptance to study with us. Final option, which can be a lower cost option, although there is quite a range, is to rent a room or an, an apartment on the private rental market. This is something that should not be done before you arrive in Brisbane because you should always inspect the property in person before you actually pay any monies or sign a lease agreement. However, many students choose to book one or two weeks of short-term accommodation initially and then find a longer term accommodation after they arrive. Our student services team will be happy to assist you with any further information about this process. Um, whatever you choose to live, you can also arrange for UQ to pick you up at the airport. Um, so this service is free for international students to any address within 20 Ks of the Brisbane airport. So you can book airport pickup online, you just need to ensure you book the service at least three days before your arrival. 
We'll finish up with a few other things you might want to know about um, studying at UQ. And we offer a broad range of clubs, entertainment and cultural and creative events that keep our campuses vibrant and engaging. The UQ Union, or UQU for short, is the hub of entertainment on campus and is here to engage, entertain and support you. There are over 220 student clubs and societies at UQ, so there is something for everyone. You can also enjoy amazing events, such as the market day and cultural fiestas, and hit the on-campus pub, which is called the Red Room, for live music, weekly trivia, and games nights. The Red Room also regularly hosts um, great local musicians, emerging stars, and even a few cult favorites. During orientation week and throughout the year, UQU brings some of the best live acts to campus for all age concerts. The School of Music also offers free um, lunchtime concerts every Thursday during the semester and the San Lucia campus um, and popular free concerts at the UQ Art Museum. So again, plenty of options and plenty of things to do at the university. Australian borders are now officially opened uh, for international students since last December, which is absolutely fantastic. We very much are very much looking forward to welcoming international students this semester, which is starting in only three weeks. Um, so keep in mind that there are some requirements to enter Australia um, in this new environment in terms of vaccinations. So you will need to be fully vaccinated against COVID-19 with one of the vaccines that are approved by the Australian government. And you will also need to provide a negative COVID test before boarding your plane and fill up a declaration form. However, this situation, as you may know, is changing constantly. So um, support and information for current and future students is available on our website. So that's the best place um, to look to see what's happening regarding um, COVID-19 and UQ. You can also keep in touch with UQ through our social media channels if you have any questions. And this is my um, email address as well. If you want to email me and um, find out more information about the studying in Australia and at UQ, I will be very happy to help. So that's all I had for today, but please feel free to keep in touch. Now, if there are any questions, I will be very happy to take those. So I'm just gonna check the chat box here for any questions. So there's nothing there yet, but if you have any questions now, um, I'll be very happy to take those. We are also sharing um, on the chat um, the links uh, for our website, our future students website, and also a link to our virtual tours, if you wanna take a tour um, from the comfort of your house, just to have a look at the campus, the beautiful campus that we have at UQ. So again, if there are any questions, we'll be very happy to take them now. Don't be shy. <laughs> okay, it seems everything is very clear and we don't have any questions, um, but again, um, just feel free to email us at any time um, if you want to find out more about studying with us in Australia. It's been a pleasure to be here with you um, tonight. We are very much looking forward to welcoming more NSHS as students um, in the future. And so please keep in touch. And um, you know, thank you so very much for attending this session um, today. Um, goodbye, everyone, and have a good night.